It's time to put together my charcuterie Christmas tree. You've seen in our live that we got all of everything prepped. It's all on toothpicks. Now it's time to get this tree going. I'm actually gonna start with the olives first. So here we go. So I just pick one thing first and you're gonna put it on and you're gonna turn your tree a little bit at a time. Oh, some of these aren't working too well here. Okay. As you get down more toward the, the bottom, it gets a little easier because you just wanna make this really cool pattern as you turn it. Kind of see where I'm, where I'm going. I'm just going to turn it a little bit at a time. This is why I do it a day ahead because it would take forever. You wouldn't be able to get this tree done and get all of everything on the toothpicks and then get it all together. It would be absolutely impossible. You would be here all day. See, so as I get to the bottom, it is a little easier to do. Isn't that cool? And then you'll just do the next thing. I actually have two more trees if I have time. I still have a little bit more time before our party starts. Um, if I have time and I have leftover stuff, then I'm going to do a smaller one. Now we're gonna start back over to the top and we're gonna do meat. Just start putting the meat on here. I do this every year. Everybody looks forward to it. Just put my Christmas music on and just go to town. The top can get a little bit, um, a little bit squashed, so you have to kind of watch it. Maybe try putting smaller things on. Maybe this wasn't the best choice, but I'm kind of going back and forth now on the bottom of it, I'm trying to bring it a little bit of uh, a little bit of shape to it. I think I'm gonna have lots to do another one. That's okay. And if you don't eat all this, which is which is what is nice, is then you can just take the leftovers and you can just make a board out of it. So it might not look perfect now, but when you start putting more things on it, it is gonna come together. And if you've seen my videos from the past, you will see that it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know, with the two things, it's already beautiful, I think. Then I'm just gonna cover it and put it in the fridge um, I don't wanna wait too long to do it because I'm gonna have ladies showing up and I have other things to do. So I wanna get this done right away and then I'll just bring it out when we start eating so it won't get hot. Okay, all right, the meat's done. Next up, I don't know what I'm gonna do so next So I decided up. to do the grapes next. I wanna make sure that I'm keeping up with the color. And I want like dark and light together. So I think my next one's gonna be the, um, the pepperoni and the mozzarella mixed. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have, oh, well that one's gone. I think I'm gonna have um, enough to do another tree, so I'll probably do all three trees. The ladies are gonna love it. It's hard not to eat these when you make these. I love grapes. It's looking beautiful. And then you make the star on top with cheese. So I have to cut that out still. See how fast this is going? I'm so glad I prepped it with you guys. Oh my goodness, I'd be here forever. All right, next up is the mozzarella with the pepperoni.
everybody's going to, all my boys are going to a basketball game today. And then Izzy's riding her horse right now and then she's gonna meet him. She loves her horse, Poppy. So this is gonna take a little bit longer just because they're smaller. Usually my hands are like whipped after this. <laughs> but everybody loves it. I don't even know how I even thought of this. This is like my fourth year doing it. Super cool. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. I love the holidays. Christmas is my favorite, as everybody knows. And I know I keep repeating it, but it really is. You can just do like so many cool things at Christmas. I feel like there's just, the holidays are amazing. Gideon comes home in a couple days, so I'm excited about that. We're about to take our, uh, me and my husband every year, we go on a date out of town for two days and we do our shopping. We messaged all the kids yesterday and said, hey, we're leaving tomorrow. We need your list for Christmas. And so the kids like, believe write it on paper. I'll have to have Josh, you do that tonight. Write it on paper. I'm pretty much done with Josh though. He is so easy to do. He loves the best stuff ever. All right. I have two kinds of cheeses to put on this. My Christmas tree is officially done. The decorations, I'm so close to being done. Ooh, some of these are a little, toothpicks are a little damp, so my fingers are gonna be so sore after this. All right. I try and push the toothpicks in a little bit. This styrofoam is really tough though. Holy cow, I'm struggling. So I put the red tomatoes on next. Um, I'm gonna do the dates. And then after that, I think I'm gonna do um, some more meat. The dates are kind of big, so these shouldn't take long, actually. I've actually not put dates on it before. This is the first time I did the dates, but I thought, wow, well, you know, you, you do add dried fruit to charcuterie boards, and I haven't been doing that. And I'm like, well, let's get that on there. So we're gonna do the dates next. And like I said, I wanna like stagger the colors so I don't wanna put like oranges and reds together and yellows. I want them to be separated so it looks really cool. All right. I love dates so much. I don't think a lot of people eat dates. I grew up eating Fig Newtons. My dad loved Fig Newtons. Ooh, I hope I have enough. And they're not cheap though for sure. They're not cheap at all. Once I get a momentum going, whoo, no stopping me. You can't stop me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make it. I was a little worried about it. I was gonna make it. There we go. Yeah, the bigger things are way easier to put on. I think I'm gonna have enough to do a trio. Super cool, it kind of looks like like dried meat a little bit, not so much dates. But I wanted the contrast between the colors, so that worked out good. And we'll stick a tiny one in the bottom. So I did the oranges after that. Now I'm gonna start getting some more meat on this board. I'm gonna do the salami. I just kind of rolled it up super cute and, yeah, put it like a little accordion. Salami on next. See, this was big, so this didn't take very long here. Um, you tighten it because it's a shower curtain, so you have to you have to turn the end of it. That's how it tightens, like in a shower. All right, here is this one. Okay, so I ran out of salami. I'm gonna actually add a couple pepperoni to the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna put my olives in next. So as you continue doing this, you're gonna see that the top is, the top gets, you know, closed. 
and uh, you just start a little ways down. I have some stuffed olives too, but we can do those later. I don't usually do my meat like this. This was the first time I did like that. Oh, look at that, I found a piece of meat. I can trade it out. Oh, I found two pieces underneath my olives. So I can trade out that pepperoni. just was doing this. That's how fast the year went. Do you guys think the year just went so fast? We got super exciting things happening next year. My cookbook's coming out and Haley's getting married and Izzy's graduating. And who knows what else life's gonna bring to us next year. So we got a lot going on in our family. Super exciting stuff. Izzy's trying to figure out what she's gonna do after school. That time though. All right, this did good. Now I gotta trade out those last two. I thought I ran out of salami and I found two. So I'm gonna trade them out right now before I forget. There's one. That's my pepperoni. Thank you, Izzy. And then get these olives going. It is a little pokey, so watch your fingers. You might have some sore fingers the next day. <laughs> it's so worth it though. So I put the cheese on next. It's the bacon Gouda and the um, buffalo. So now I'm gonna do blueberries. See, that's why I say get the jumbo blueberries because it takes forever if they're too tiny. Cause you wanna fill up those spaces, you know? All right, there we go. It's been a, a day that I thought I had lots of time and then you don't have lots of time. All right, I'm gonna keep going with the blueberries. There we go. Okay. Yeah, these are nice blueberries. Oh, we're almost done. So it's probably gonna take you, well, if you get prepared, it's gonna take a couple hours to put these on, but then once you get your tree going, oh, some of these toothpicks are not working very well. It's gonna be probably about 40 minutes. Probably just watch a Christmas show, listen to Christmas music. Just kind of relax. Enjoy your time by yourself. And you need to come up with something like this during the year. After the blueberries, I did my yellow and orange and now I'm gonna do red grapes. Cause I haven't put any red grapes on here yet. Ooh, that's a big grape. See, my space is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I haven't had to duplicate anything yet either. That's kind of cool. I must have enough ingredients here to not have to do that. Yeah, normally I do this for our adult party, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna treat the ladies. So that's what I did. All right. Here we go. I have some herbs I'm gonna put on it this time just to make it real decorative. That is a big grape, but I'm gonna throw it on there. There we go. Okay. All right, I did the stuffed olives and now I'm gonna do these little pepperonis because I needed a little bit more color. Oh, David. It starts to go really fast when you just have a little tiny section left. So we're gonna get the pepperoni in and then we'll move on to the next one here. All my family's starting to get here so I'm gonna have to talk a little louder. Everybody's coming home from work and from school and then they're all gonna be heading to a basketball game. So, okay, last one here. So I end up putting more mozzarella and pepperoni, some cheese, and now I just have this little tiny section. Look at that. So I'm gonna do the red tomatoes, but I need smaller ones because it's the space is super small. And then this tree is officially done. Let's get it right in there. Okay, here we go. 
Just a couple more and it's done. It's beautiful. Turn out beautiful. I thought to make it like super fancy, I'm just gonna throw some rosemary on here and it's kind of like the garland on the tree. And it's actually super cute. There we go. It just makes it look a little fancier, I think. Like all decorative. You're gonna wanna keep this pieces longer. Don't cut them into pieces. I made the mistake of cutting them into pieces. And you don't wanna do that. All right, I'm just gonna finish up here. And then my tree is official. To go. finish it off, I cut these little uh, kiwis to make it all decorative on the bottom. Just pushing into the toothpicks. How cute is that? That was my idea. There we go. more in here. I've got a couple more I can put in. Let's slide this over a little bit so we can get these in here. Just poke them in there. It makes it even more decorative. Sheesh, super cute. There we go. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. Let's slide these over a little bit. Give some space to that one. Instead of making a cheese star, I just used tangerine like oranges and just kind of made it look like it's like a little star up there. So here it is. It's all done. Thank you for joining me on making this charcuterie Christmas tree. Don't forget to subscribe and like to Just Little 10. And uh, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.